sliding with Biden. That is the headline the Democrats should be looking at very closely today. As the president is in Michigan meeting with striking auto workers in the picket lines, first time ever we've seen a president do that. A brand new Washington Post ABC News poll gives former President Donald Trump a commanding double digit lead over the guy currently residing in the White House. And when you dig into the numbers deeper, it gets far worse for Joe Biden. In fact, his numbers are historically bad, and the reasons are many. And the polling is getting worse for Biden on an almost daily basis. You see, Americans get it when Joe slurs through a speech and wanders around lost on the stage. They can see it. They know he's not in charge of himself, so how could he possibly run a country? The answer is he's probably not. The brand new polling puts Biden's approval rating 19 points underwater. 37% of those people asked approve of the way he's doing his job. I'd like to speak to those folks. And this is a brand new low, the lowest ever in a Washington Post ABC News poll, in fact. And it doesn't look like they've found the bottom quite yet. Biden, who will turn 81 in December, is already the oldest and weakest president in American history. And across the board, those failures are not going to be rewarded by voters in 2024. Trust me when I tell you Democrats are in a full-blown panic right now because they're caught in a no-win situation. They know Joe Biden's chance of winning re-election gets smaller by the day, by the hour, really. But if he pulls out now, he becomes a lame duck. If he leaves, that leaves them with Kamala Harris as the standard bearer for the Democrats, unless you want to allow a wild primary fight between Harris and likely challenges from California and Michigan. Like I said, the reasons for Joe Biden's dismal numbers are many. The wide open border that everyone sees in the news every day, while the Democrats keep telling us the border is secure, when absolutely it is not. And in fact, today, the Democrat mayor of El Paso, Texas, says that city is on the verge of collapse because of the invasion. And that doesn't poll well anywhere in the nation. And the mainstream media is actually being forced to admit this, perhaps in an attempt to get the Biden administration to at least pretend. Pretend they're doing something about the massive invasion of the illegals at the southern border. Listen to this. Authorities announcing there were more than 232,000 migrant encounters at the southern border in August, the highest monthly total this year. The president says his policies are working. We put in place policies that process people in a fair and fast way. But our poll shows only 23 percent approve of his handling of the situation. Another career low. Yeah, another career low, one after another. And when President Biden says his plan is working for the border, he means it. This administration believes anyone from outside the country can claim asylum for, well, just about anything. And if you do, well, in their minds, it's perfectly legal for you to come into the country. Oh, and they may give you your own government-issued ID as well, so you can do things like vote. So, yeah, in his mind, it seems to be working perfectly well. 